Hey everyone, this is a fun round and my name is Jordan and I definitely want to thank the lines makers for getting these lines out the day before because last season they were not and I was just making videos giving stats on good matchups and uh, hopefully we can keep this going lines makers and hopefully we can keep them uh, coming out the day before so I can make these videos with the lines um, and you will see images that come up on the screen with the lines those images will be from a data app called outlier um, if you ask me in the comments what app that is I'll know that you skipped this part and you didn't listen to it for outlier there will be a link in the description for a seven day free trial um, if you'd like to check that out so this episode will be powered by outlier my first pick is going to be Tobias Harris of the Sixers up against the Wizards. Uh, I like him over one and a half turnovers. I know you're probably thinking points. He's been scoring very well, and you know that's not a bad play either. But turnovers, one and a half. He's gone over this five out of five times this year. And uh, I looked up the stats for who forces the most turnovers and the Washington Wizards forced the most turnovers a game so far this season. And I thought that was kind of crazy. You would think it would be more of a team known to play defense. But uh, Tobias Harris averages 37 minutes on the floor, so he's got plenty of time to get those two turnovers, and he's been doing it all season long. So good spot here for him to go over uh, that one and a half turnover mark. And staying with the same game, I'm gonna go with Kelly Oubre Jr. over 17 and a half points. Ever since the James Harden trade, he has jumped into the starting lineup and he has been a huge spark for them. In the past two games since he jumped in the starting lineup, he's averaging 15 and a half shots per game. And the Wizards give up the third most points to the small forward position. Uh, so I feel like the 17 and a half line, it's gonna probably continue to go up. Uh, uh, as the year goes on um, and also forgot to mention he's gone over this four out of five times this year he was going over this even when he was coming off the bench and if you guys could could you please like the video and if you haven't please subscribe to the channel over 50 percent of you that watch um, are not subscribed so if you could just take a little bit of time and subscribe uh, that'd be awesome and if you have a little bit of extra time could you leave a comment for the algorithm tell me plays that you like because i I have six of them. I clearly can't get to all of them. And uh, if you don't want to do that, just put an emoji and press submit. And uh, that'll help too for, for the algorithm. So appreciate everyone that does that. My third pick, this is going to be an under. I'm looking at Carl Anthony Towns under 21 and a half points versus the Boston Celtics. So he's gone under 21 and a half points four out of five times this year. Um, he went under in the one game that he played against the Celtics last year. So the Celtics are giving up the second least points to the power forward position. And uh, even when uh, Gobert comes off the court and he's playing center, they're giving up the seventh least points to the center position. So they're very strong against the center position. And, you know, the Celtics have just been known to play uh, good defense anyway. So uh, that's under 21 and a half points uh, for Carl Anthony Towns. And my fourth pick, I'm going to say it again. He came through for me, Dylan Brooks. Over 14 and a half points. I'm surprised this line didn't get bumped up more than it has. Uh, went up two points. And uh, since I'm doing a night video, this probably will go up uh, maybe one or two more. I'm not sure. Um, but he's gone over this in three out of five games this season. And he's going up against the Kings again who give up the most points to the small four position and that showed in the last game he dropped 26 points against them if you don't like the points line you can go with the three points uh made line it's at one and a half he's gone over that four out of five times this year and the kings give up the fourth most three pointers made to the small four position uh, so either one of those is a, is a good play uh, for the day, and uh, hopefully he can stay efficient. If you didn't see the last video, uh, he bumped up his percentage points uh, for field goal percentage by over 20 field goal percentage points, uh, which is uh, pretty crazy, uh, complete transition, and he's playing smart basketball. My fifth pick, so last time the Thunder played, um, I used Outlier and I sorted out all the games where Shea Gilgis Alexander was out, and I found Lou Dort, and he went off. Uh, I like him over 14 and a half points. I can expect this line to go up overnight if you haven't seen this video. Uh, but with Shea out, he has gone over this line 
17 out of the last 20 games that he has played. He dropped 29 the last game that he played. Um, he's going up against the Hawks, who give up the second most points to the shooting guard position. Um, I don't know if he's going to be playing shooting guard or Josh Giddy's going to be playing shooting guard, but either way, he's going to be on the wing, and they give up a lot of points to the people on the wing. Uh, so that's over 14 and a half points for Lou Dort. And before I get into this last pick, I want to shout out my partners, Underdog Fantasy, Sleeper, Parlay Play, and Jock Market. Use promo code FINAROUND11 on any of these, and they'll match your first deposit up to $100. And Underdog Fantasy right now is doing up to $500. There will be links in the description that will take you straight there with the promo code, or you can just download the app. And thank you to the people who use those promo codes. So my final pick, sticking with using Outlier and filtering out Shea Gilgis Alexander, uh, I found Jalen Williams at the power forward position, um, not the center Jalen Williams, uh, but Jalen Williams over 24 and a half points plus assist. So he's gone over this points plus assist mark eight out of the last 10 times that Shea's been out. In the last game they just played, he got 18 points and eight assists. He was the main distributor. He got more assists than Josh Giddy did. Um, so the Hawks are giving up the second most points to the power forward position and the most assists to the power forward position. So just a prime spot for him with Shea out to get over this points mark and assist mark. And if you'd like to discuss lines further, I have a Discord. The link is in the description. Uh, the Discord has been doing great lately. Uh, there's a lot of people jumping in and there's been uh, people putting in slips and I see a lot of green. We have a new certified chef channel where people put in their uh, their slips uh, who are certified chefs uh, who cook up slips and uh, they've been going green you know every single day so far and people have been winning a lot of money and it's not a premium or anything like that you don't have to pay anything it's free just hop on in and also it takes me time to dig up this information if you if you do well with it and you feel like giving back i have a cash app and venmo in the description you can donate back to the channel thank you to the people who do that so hop on in the Discord. It has been uh, really good for everyone. Uh, putting in slips, getting feedback, bringing in their research and, and everything. It's, it's pretty cool. And I do want to say thank you to everyone for your support. Ever since NBA has started back up, uh, the, the subscriber count, the view count and everything has just uh, shot up like crazy it's um I, I was doing well last year with with nba and this is my second time around um this is uh, the first sport i'm doing my second time around i haven't even been making videos for a year yet but um it's just kind of overwhelming the amount of people who see the the videos and, and they they like it and they subscribe um i i know i'm doing everything data-based uh that's just how i work that's how my mind thinks uh, i know they don't all hit you know every single day but there are there have been some days where i've swept but it it really is just following the data and uh and using some basketball knowledge and a little bit of the eye there but I do want to say thank you everyone for your support. I really appreciate it. It's uh it's it's been kind of kind of cool to see. I never imagined uh when I started this that it would be um to this point this quickly. So, yeah, once again, th thank you all. So, I'm going to get this edited and get it out to you guys. Um God bless you. It's the final round. My name is Jordan. I will catch you on the next one. Bye.